In this demo, we will show how to apply a force vector. In some version 8, the definition of external forces is improved a lot. Now the use of a local coordinate system is possible. Here we see a beam with a length of 1 meter, which turns around for 360 degrees. First I will display the motor torque which we expect to be zero. That's true. And now we will apply a force vector on the end of the beam. Choose for force. We add the force to this node. And we have to make a table. First we choose for a load type as a function of time. So we need for the table two rows and the range will be from one from 0 to 1 second. We will define a force of constant 1 newton which points to the right so it keeps on an angle of 1, 0 degrees. Here we see the force and now we see the torque for the motor has changed and as we expect it will, be, it will grow to 1 newton meter on the top, if we go back to 0 and again it will grow to minus one newton meter. Next we will add another beam which is not so accurate but something that looks like this one. Also this beam will turn around 360 degrees what we see happen here. Now we will add a force which will point in the direction of the beam. In this case we choose for a property of some element. And here we say we choose for element 3 its angle and this will be used as the argument for the table. So. Now we say, at an angle of zero degrees, there will be a force of zero newton, and it will point to the right, zero degrees. When the angle grows to 360, the force will grow to one newton, and the angle will follow the same value as the argument. Okay. Here we see the force. And as we can see, there is a little difference in the symbol, which is this one is filled, this one is not filled. It's not filled, why? Because it's zero. Now we will display the normal force in this beam, which is located here. And then we will see the force will grow as it turns. Also we see the symbol inside shows the value. It shows the value of the force itself. So we see it grow Yeah. Also this is according our expectation it will grow up to one newton. The force table can be as complicated as we like. I will demonstrate some little change on this force. So we want to make it perpendicular to the beam. Then we say it should point at minus 90 degrees and the value should be at 270. So here we go. And now we see the torque, the normal forces became zero. You can also look up the torque which should have any value now. And here we see the torque is growing to one newton meters as expected. Okay, thank you.